this Savannah 402 is designed for off-road use. That's their trademark, that's their point of difference. And the Savannah is tiny, small, by off-road caravan standards. 11 foot 6 long, 7 foot 6 wide, and weighs just on 1300 kilograms, so uh, you'd almost attach it to a rickshaw and run around the forest. The Savannah 402 is built for off-road work. Solid off-road wheels and tyres, independent trailing arm, coil spring and shock absorber suspension, really solid chassis with a 6-inch mainframe and a 6-inch A-frame underneath that. Checker plate on a lot of the areas where you'd collect stones. And uh, if you want to go seriously bush, this uh, rather low-slung step can be unbolted. Four bolts and it's off and you've got a lot more clearance. Wow, this is a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. Look, Savannah, as I said, it's, uh, it's only it's under 11 foot inside in, uh, in length, uh, 7 foot 6 wide in the body, but they've packed a lot into this layout. It's a really good, cosy little layout, but surprisingly roomy. Uh, look at the size of the bench space on this whole galley area. I mean, uh, we've got the cooktop up, but uh, when you look at the preparation space and uh, storage space, vegetable lid here, there's a, um, there's a slide out pantry over here, cupboards everywhere, uh, drawers. It's a uh, it's a really workable kitchen, an amazing kitchen. I can tell you, I've been in a lot of caravans that are, you know, that are uh, almost double the size inside that uh, haven't got this bench space. We've got a bit of a space odyssey here. The, uh, the dinette room for two people to sit, a couple more on the bed if uh, they wished. The bed, it's a double bed, so lift up, it's hinged at the back. But for those days when it's too humid, it really does get a little bit too much. We've got this uh, roof-mounted uh, Air Command Sparrow reverse cycle air conditioner. There's more storage space under this uh, lift-up bed, but it's a little bit restricted with the slide-in full kitchen and fridge on the outside of it. Under the bed you'll also find the main power centre of the Savannah, the single deep cycle battery, the inverter that converts the 120 watt solar panel on the roof to, uh, to 12 volt energy. Of course one thing obviously missing in a van this size is a full ensuite, not surprisingly, but there's a solution. First of all, the 402 has an outside shower on that back wall and uh, a port can take care of the rest. I've spent uh, more than 20 years living under canvas in Australia and overseas and don't knock it, I think it's a great experience. But I've been there and I've done that. Getting older, I like a bit of comfort now. This little van offers comfort at a very little price. Around $43,000 or a tad more. You're off the ground, comfortable bed, stone and hail proof, weatherproof, warm in winter, cool in summer. That's not the like.